ITC specialises in round solid carbide tooling predominantly. Uh, some other products, but predominantly that's the, that's the situation. And when was the business founded? Started in January 91, so we're coming up to our 25th year next January, which is a bit of a scary thought. And you have a manufacturing plant here? We do. We started off as a, uh, a distributor for what was then Metal Removal Industrial Tooling, which is an independent American solid carbide uh, producer. Uh, after a few years we found we were doing lots of modifications and specials and, and we were subbing it all out. Uh, and after probably seven years we, we bit the bullet and bought our fourth, first water machine and a couple of Decal S11 grinders. Um, now we've got in excess of 20 CNC grinders and more than half of what we sell comes through the shop floor one way or another. We're still a distributor. Metal removal got taken over by Kenner Metal some years ago. In the meantime, we'd become a uh, distributor for Hanita, which is an Israeli brand of, uh, of round tooling. Um, they also got taken over by Kenner Metal, so it, it became uh, basically from, rather than buying from independents, we were buying from, from the Kenner Metal group. Uh, and we still do that, and we're now the video agent for, in the UK. Uh, predominantly solid, but also looking at indexable as well now. Um, but as I say, 50% of what we do still goes through the shop floor one way or another. And as a team, I mean, how, how many people do you employ? Just pushing 50 now. Got a team of sales guys on the road? Yeah, we've got nine sales guys covering UK and Ireland. Yeah. All offering technical advice? Yeah, all technically trained, all doing, uh, as you say, technical work, capable of standing on duckboard and, and doing production improvements for, for the customer. And there's a lot of investment that goes on here, I, I read about in the press. Yeah, we, over the years we've probably bought on average two machines a year since we started. Um, Hence, we're now up to 20 plus. We're, we're actually getting quite full on the shop floor, and the next stage is probably a bit more factory space. Um, but we've got to the stage where the machines are getting on a bit, and so, so we've started now on the process of renewing the older machines to keep everything in good, good condition. Well, we believe that we offer full service to the customer. We, we are not only sell standard off the shelf products, uh, we can do modifications, we can do specials designed from scratch, we do re grinding. So rather than just say there's a product to get on with it, we offer that the full service and that's what we, we think has really stand us in good stead over the years. And we, we say to our partners who we buy from that although we have all this machinery and you could in one sense look at it as a as competition, in fact we view that we wouldn't sell so much standard product that we buy in if it wasn't for the fact we can offer everything else to go with it. So we give the customer a full service. So you're very hands-on here yourself, you get involved in every aspect of the business? Yeah, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't say I turn any handles, but yes, I'm certainly involved and interested in, in everything that goes on from, from picking and packing in stores sometimes to, to designing tooling or, or whatever. And I think you have to be because that gives you a flavour of every aspect of the business. Yeah, I think it does, yeah, and it's an enjoyable, it's, it's nice to, you never know what's coming in every day, but it's, uh, it's always an interesting day. Uh, my role within the business is the production manager, um, but as we're a fairly small company, I'll get involved with the day-to-day the -day quoting, loading the machines, machine manning, etc. So anything that comes through this machine shop is your responsibility from start to finish? Yes, that's right. Whether it's um, initial, um, the customer's inquiry, a component drawing that we need to make the cutters from, or a, cut, a, cut, a customer that actually supplies us with a finished cutter drawing, comes through me, I decide whether we can manufacture it initially, how long it's going to take, how much it's going to cost, etc. Have you got any examples of cutting tools that you have recently uh, produced? Yes, a typical example would be this, um, this dogging cutter for gear manufacturing. Um, customer sent us in a, a drawing of, of the finished gear, we, um, we had a look at it, um, it is something that we do a fair bit of these, uh, these dogging cutters. The profile has to be very accurate within plus or minus five microns of the, of the theoretical tolerance. So we, we, had, we had a look at it, decided on what, which diameter would be suitable, gave them a quote and, uh, and now we manufacture them for them and, and regrind them on a regular basis. Do your solutions extend to any type of cutting tool and any type of application? Yes, basically any, any round tools, that's, that's our business and we do quick turnaround of special cutting tools, that's, what, that's, that's our, our aim. What's the maximum diameters? As a standard 32mm, we hold rod from 3mm to 32mm in stock in all different pre-cut lengths and it also in full 12 inch lengths of rod. So we have the ability, if somebody's in a mess, we can go and get the rod straight out of stock, put it on a machine. 
And because we've got Sony machines constantly running 21 CNC 5-axis machines, there's always one that's coming to the end of its current production run. So we can, we can dive on there and, and get things out pretty quickly should the need arise. Obviously we do have queue time, lead time is, is two weeks, that's what we, we go for as a standard. Um, but for good customers or people who are in a mess, we can turn tools around in one or two days if, if, the, if the need occurs. It's a very skilled job, Peter. So do you recruit apprentices? Do you train people here? We do, yes. We started in the last few years taking on apprentices. We found that uh, when we were looking for people for the shop floor, especially, uh, all the applicants were people of a certain age, my sort of age, and, and uh, we saw a, it's, a, it's a shame, but there was a 20 year gap, it appears, where people weren't taken on and learnt. So we started to take on apprentices. We're taking on, we've taken on one last year who's been excellent. We've got another two guys hopefully starting this year. We had one here for a day's, day's trial yesterday. Um, and the view is long term that we keep doing that on a, on a yearly basis, one or two people, so that we, we just slowly try and bring the age group, age of the uh, employee down as, as an average. And what about growth? We've grown probably on average 10 to 15 percent every year. Last year was another 15 percent year. Um, we've, we've always tried to do it on a, you wouldn't turn growth down, but we've liked the fact over the years we've grown fairly steadily. So it's enabled us to be on a stable footing. We know where we're going. And I can see that carrying on. We'd like to do 15, 20 percent in the next year. Um, as I said earlier, we, we probably need to look at bigger premises uh, for more factory space. So I just we, I can see us carrying on having, having growth and having more people and, and, uh, and greater sales and bigger penetration in the UK and abroad.